<laughs> I'm Robert. I'm Paul. And I'm Ron, and we're three idiots eating sandwiches. Yeah. Bam. All right, here we are, three <laughs> idiots eating sandwiches, and today we're back at Ike's in San Jose for a very special vegan episode, and we have two special guests. Robert, who are they? Well, over here to my uh, far left is Deegan Adams, and he is our studio producer, in-house producer, studio manager for sound management, Mixer. and Smash Mouth does it all. Has been doing it for many years. Uh, Paul and Deegan spent a lot of time together. Oh. Behind me, we have Richard Tinsley, and he has been our property manager since 1998. So Richard has managed all of our properties since 1998 and still doing it. And still doing it. What? what are we here today for? Oh yes, yeah, so and we're here today Richard's to celebrate Richard's birthday. birthday. And it's also his birthday, and he's the uh, he's the resident token. vegan or or vegetarian expert, we should say. So his opinion matters probably more than ours today. That's so we're right. gonna check it out. So we're gonna give you a vegan option at Ike's. So let's check it. Three idiots. Let's go have some sandwiches. All right, we're gonna do something a little different today because we got a bunch of us out here, but uh, we're gonna start with the James and the Giant Peach. And this is a chicken sandwich. This is a vegan chicken sandwich. And um, I think Deegan is going to start off with half of this, and who else? Maybe Richard. Yeah, All right, here we go. Why not? All right, Richard, mm -hmm. get into that. So Richard has informed me this is actually a turkey sandwich, a vegan turkey. And that is uh, very good. You think? What do you think? Very good. Not too many produce. It doesn't taste too vegany. Nope, it doesn't. It tastes very good. I like it. No, it's fucking delicious. Very tender. Yeah, no. Are we not supposed to swear? You're not supposed to take a bite before. Chicken. So uh, Richard. Yeah, if you had to rate this on a 1 to 10 for a vegan sandwich, what would you give it? 9. 9? Uh, We're up there. It's a fucking solid sandwich. Okay. It is. It's very now, solid. I don't want to get in the middle of his review. However, it says it is vegan fried mm -hmm. chicken. Oh, yeah, it's fried so chicken. Oh, this is the fried no, chicken. This is fried chicken. This is a yeah. fried chicken. Okay. See, I'm we're um, we're <laughs> vegan rookies here, so we're just going for it. Yeah, but um, I ordered the turkey. Well, there's another one here that might be turkey. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. We're not in that All right. Nine. Nine. For the fried chicken. Absolutely. That's a good score. You already break him. All right, Deacon. Right. Right. <laughs> All right, Deacon. Let's see what you think of it. This is the fried chicken. Really good. And this was uh, really called James and the Giant Peach. So. Um, I can't tell that it's vegan. That's good. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Um, although I can't tell that it's meat either. <laughs> so I'm not so, so sure. So there's some that's texture in there. There's some texture, but it's a lot it's a lot spongier than it would be if it was real chicken. Okay. That's that being said, it's, it's delicious. And if uh, you had to give it a 1 to 10, what would you give it? An 8. 8. Solid score. As a vegan sandwich. Solid. Rookie vegan scores. Sandwich. All right. All right, this is the meatless mic, <laughs> and uh, I think this is a meatball sandwich, um, the vegan meatball sandwich. So I think uh, Paul and Ron are going to get into this one. Let's, let's, let's give it a check go. it out. All right, Ron, what we're going with meat. the meatless mic. Mike has no meat. Sorry, Mike. Here we go. Mm. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> well. I'm curious how a pro does this. I'm really yeah, excited. Yeah, does it taste like meat? Does it taste meatless? What's happening here? Do you swish it around in your mouth or do you smell anything? How do you I do cut it? my lips. <laughs> okay. Ron has a problem with his teeth. All right. When I bite in, I can taste like a sort of a spaghetti sauce or a pizza sauce marinara, or a yeah. marinara. And that's what you kind of taste through the whole thing. How's not a bad thing at all. How's the texture of the meat? The non meat. Yep. Yeah, and the non meat texture is not really there. I don't really taste meat um however it tastes like a good like almost a sandwich you would get at round table because it's uh, it, okay like, it's, yeah yeah because it's out of the pizza oven so, exactly that's really good i'm gonna judge it as if it's just a normal sandwich though like we would judge any sandwich yep. although it is vegan i'm going 8.4 all right solid it's wow, really good no, so we'll get the point for All right, Paul. So the points are from... Getting some chips there. All right. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah. I'm ready. So if someone says uh, like nine produce. produce. Yeah. Yeah. Shh, I'm talking dumb. <laughs> 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 All right, here we are in some very long and nameless park in San Jose, California. And we're here to review the vegan sandwiches from Ike's. 
This is a meatless Mike sandwich. Let's check it out. And you know, if you watch any of our reviews, you'll note that Paul um, usually takes the vegetables off the sandwich. So tomatoes, <laughs> tomatoes got to go. Did they go off so, of this one? They, they sure did. Should be against the law. Okay. Um, um, the sauce is a tomato-based sauce. Tomato-based sauce. Yeah. Tomatoes are fine when they're cooked. All right. That's um. That's a pretty good sandwich. Um. It would, I think you know it. It would taste better if if, if there was some meat in it. <laughs> it looks like a falafel bun from the side here. Besides that, it's pretty good. That is it for a meatless um, meatball. That's 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 excellent. So I would give it. Um, I'm going to give this an 8.2. Solid score. And I just got a piece of the actual meatball. Yeah. And it does have a good texture, almost like a meatball. Yeah. So good. That's pretty good. I'd like to change my score, sorry, <laughs> to an 8.3. Okay. From what? From, from, a eight. Eight. from an eight. From the rookie score. From the rookie score. Everything. You want to get professional. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can't do that. You're breaking the rules left and right. Man. <laughs> All right. This is the handsome owl. And this is a uh, chicken. Is it fried chicken? It is vegan chicken. Vegan chicken. Sure. Okay. And it has some wasabi and some teriyaki. And uh, Paul and myself are going to get into this one. I don't know if I've ever eaten a vegan sandwich before. So this might be a first for me. But um, let's give it a try. Give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Dive into the Ike's Vegan Sandwich. Hmm. Ike's is known for their vegan sandwich. It's a pretty popular vegan sandwich. You know, if I didn't know this was vegan, I would just think it was a sandwich. And it's good. I mean, it's not bad at all. Um, I would think it was some kind of chicken sandwich. I like the teriyaki. It doesn't have a real kick. You can't taste the wasabi too much. You can taste the, the teriyaki a little bit more. Uh, but good solid sandwich. I mean, Ike knows what he's doing, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 8.2 on this, and um, keep eating. Keep eating. Yeah, 8.2 from Robert. All right, here we are at um, Same back place. at the long nameless park in San Jose, <laughs> trying out this Ike sandwich. This one's called the Handsome Owl. I don't think it's made out of real owl. I think it's vegan chicken. Let's give it a try. What if it is made out? Is of it hooting? <laughs> it's a real good looking owl. It's a really interesting way to take all of a sudden, I can it. turn my neck all the way around. <laughs> it's all pretty good. He does the middle bite, so yeah, he did now, a little side bite this time. You've out. had the meatless mic already. Yeah. And now you're getting into this one, so. This is pretty good. It's a little bland, um, but the bread's good, and it, it, it is, it is you know, flavorful, flavorful and vegan. I would give this just a solid, just a straight 8.0. 8. Okay. All right, this is the Go Sharks, and, and uh, it looks like fried chicken, but I'm not positive. Um, I think Ron and Richard are going to dive into this one. Let's go. Here we go. Got my hands wrapped around the Go Sharks. It's a vegan sandwich. Vegan options for vegan lovers. Let's go. You can go to Ike's. They got it for you. Mm. Can you taste that buffalo sauce? Mm. It comes right through and it's really warm inside. That's what she said. Oh. That's what she said? I think that's what he said. <laughs> All right. Well, it depends. That depends. Um, that's really good. Like, this is better than the meatless mic. I really like this one. More flavors coming through. She actually tastes like chicken a little bit. Um, I'm going 8.6. Okay. Good job, Ike. Up there. Vegan. All right, Richard. Yeah. Good, um, Excellent sandwich. Yeah, this is the Ghost Sharks. You know. I like the other it one better. But really? It tastes good. The other sandwich had a little bit more flavor, but this is, for a vegan sandwich, which is very rare for us uh, vegans, um, it's very good. I like it. And your score? 8.4. 8.4. Oh. That's that's solid. That's solid sandwich. 8.4 yeah. for me too. Why is a sandwich uh, so rare for a vegan? People do not know where to go to get them, to and get that's why one. this is so important for this yeah, video. That's right. I see. We don't yeah. know where to get good Well, food. we know that you can go to Ike's, and they have, what, 10 different vegan that's options. Ones, yeah. And they said you can turn any of the regular sandwiches into and vegan. You can turn any of the sandwiches into vegan. Beautiful. So. That's, that's a pretty cool idea. All right, this is the Sneaky Kitty. And uh, this is basically the BLT vegan version. Meow. So um, I'm going to give this a shot, and so is Deegan. Here we go. Sneaky. 
Roll. All right, this is the Sneaky Kitty. Uh, this is the VLT, but it also has vegan cheese on it. I don't know if the others have had cheese uh, on them, but we're gonna try the vegan cheese. And um, here we go. Vegan cheese. Shop. Mm-hmm. What do we think? Mm. What we got? You gotta let it marinate in your mouth for a <laughs> Marinate. The cheese might be the wild card. Yeah. The normal BLT. Well, kind of the cheese, it, it's like American it's cheese. Really thing, the cheese actually tastes kind of like cheese. Wow. And bacon doesn't really taste like bacon. It's like a hint. <laughs> Maybe a hint, but you it know. It tastes more like cat. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's a little kitty. Um, actually, there is a little bacon flavor coming through there, but you know me, I like bacon, so. Um, bacon? I'm a bacon expert right here. I, I like real <laughs> bacon. But now that it, it's melding a little bit, you do get that, that bacon after, after flavor. It actually is a pretty good sandwich. I wouldn't call it a BLT, you know. Um, it's well, good. They're I, not calling it a BLT. They're either. not. They're calling it <laughs> sneaky, sneaky kitty. Sneaky kitty. Um, sneaky pussy. I gotta say, I like it. I, I like it. Um, I'm gonna go 8.1 on this sandwich. Solid. Yeah, 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 it, it's good. Solid. It again? I would buy it again. Uh, okay, uh, Sneaky Kitty. Yep, Sneaky Kitty uh, likes. AKA Vegan BLT with American Cheese. Yeah, this is a vegan for Deegan. Oh, never, <laughs> never heard that one before. Yeah. It rhymes. You should definitely be vegan. Chompy Chomp, what do you think? One bite, everyone knows the rules. Just letting it marinate. It's getting in there. Yeah, more than the other sandwiches, this one needs to gel for a minute. It's, yeah, it's because mm. there's a little... The is first, this a two-biter, maybe? It well, the first, the first... Immediate reaction is kind of a bland yes, taste. Yes, exactly. And then the flavors kick in. So you do need to give it a but second. But it is good. Now, if you uh, want to give it another bite, you can. I yeah. definitely wouldn't take it over the, what was the other one? James and the Giant Peach? James or? the Giant Peach. That one was, I thought, phenomenal. This is good, but you're not really getting any sort of flavor besides, I think, the bread. Give us another bite. The Let's go. As you do that, I'm going to span this long part because Paul thinks it's real long. And he's actually right. It's a long... Mm. Nameless park. Nameless park. There's no name in this park. It's starting to kick in. All right, kicking in. It's We're good. back to the sandwich review. Now, give us a score. Good. Um, I would say a 7.6. Ooh, we're in the sevens on this. 7.6. Yeah, it's fine. A good, honest score. Yeah. I don't know if I'd buy it again, but I, I, it's good. Vegan. Happy, Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday to you. you. The candle went out. Happy birthday, dear Richard. Happy birthday to you. And All right. <laughs> You get to eat All right, we did a review at Ike's in San Jose, our special vegan review with our two special guests, and it was really good. Paul, what do you think? Well, we're going to give it a, um, a grand total of 8.3. I think we're going 8.4. 8.4. Let's go 8.4. 8 .4. You know, as far as vegan sandwiches go, yeah, these were delicious. really good. I mean, right. we we don't eat vegan, so uh, you know, for a bunch of guys that eat meat, uh, yeah, it's it, really good sandwiches. 8.4. It's you a know, really good alternate. We love Ike's, so he's got a hundred locations now. Find a spot, go get a vegan sandwich. You will be happy. All you vegans out there, go check it out. Richard yeah. is our resident vegan, so Richard, what do you think? I think it's nice to have a place for us to go to get sandwiches that taste really good. By us, you mean vegans? vegans us is vegans. And also, yeah. we'd all like to wish a happy birthday to Richard. Happy, happy, birthday. happy birthday to Richard. Also, one thing that we don't say often is that, you know, if you could uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and today, comment, happy birthday, Richard. Give yeah, him a little yeah, happy birthday, some, right? Also, give us some tips of where to go. We've got, This is our 46th review, I believe, so we've been to a lot of them, but... Give us some tips. Where should we go next? All right. Three Idiots did the vegan special episode at Ike's.